In tonight's Monday Shape Up report, a new high tech way to lose weight. An Atlanta doctor is studying a device that could not only help people lose weight, but also keep it off. Fox 5's Dr. Stan Winokur is here now to tell us all about it. Doctor? We're already getting a lot of calls about this device. You know, 60% of all Americans are overweight, so this device could help a lot of people. It's a gastric pacemaker, and it delivers tiny electrical shocks to the stomach. Kit Dameron was one of the first people in the metro area to try it. I work in a high stress job and I was able to tell, you know, when the stress was building up, that's when I would think, you know, I could grab something easy. Kit is the research coordinator for a company that studies new drugs. In the past, food was one of the ways that she used to ease both professional and personal stress. She says her waistline began expanding 18 years ago when her son became seriously ill. I packed it on then and it's been a struggle since then. Through the years, there have been a lot of diets. Did the Weight Watchers, did the Atkins, did everything, and I just didn't have enough willpower to stick with it. But two years ago, Kit found out about an exciting new clinical trial using this device. It's called a gastric pacemaker. Not only could it help her lose weight, but actually keep that weight off. The gastric pacemaker is like the one used to control irregular heartbeats, only this time it's used to shock the stomach into feeling fuller. A battery containing a small computer chip is implanted under the ribs and then a small wire is connected to the stomach. We can then send little electrical shocks to the stomach in order to stimulate it and hopefully decrease patient's appetite. Dr. Ken Champion specializes in gastric bypass surgery. He's the principal investigator of the study. He believes the pacemaker could help people lose weight before they're forced to take drastic measures like stomach stapling. I think it's, uh, it's, it's the most exciting and fascinating thing that I've seen in, in weight loss surgery in the last 20 years. Yeah, I thought, what the heck, you know, it's one more thing, and, and it, sounded, it sounded real interesting, like it was a win-win a situation. The pacemaker is implanted during a 20-minute procedure. Kit had it done in December of 2000. Since it was a phase one study, doctors were trying to answer several questions. First of all, was it safe? And secondly, were there unknown risks or complications? And just as important, would it work? The first, I think the first two weeks that it was turned on, I had a hard time sitting through a meal because it was very, I would get full. You get full very fast. Kit says she was never hungry and lost 25 pounds during the study. Doesn't sound like a whole lot for two years, but that was without really trying. Dr. Champion says, like Kit, everyone in the study felt fuller, although weight loss did vary. But even more important, no one gained weight during the two-year period. The pacemaker may be actually working like an electrical fin-fin so that we can suppress their appetite and keep, help them keep the weight off long term. That's exactly what 38-year-old Mary Wright needs. She's fought a losing battle with her weight for years. Dr. Champion is now recruiting new people for phase two of the study. Mary hopes that she'll be chosen to participate. I feel like if there's technology there to help you, why not take advantage of it? Mary wants to lose about 50 pounds, not only for her health, but more important, for her self-esteem. <laughs> I'm still confident, but when I put on my clothes, I don't feel as good as I used to feel when I put them on. Kit says her shrinking waistline is a definite confidence booster. When the trial ended in January, she had the pacemaker removed. But since then, she's lost another 10 pounds. Kit says that, too, is a result of being in this study. It was able to teach me the difference between physical hunger and emotional hunger. You take away the physical hunger and you realize that there's a lot more involved in the reasons why you eat. Yeah, she's right about that. You know, in the first phase of the study, there was not any nutritional counseling or exercise offered. In fact, participants were told not to exercise. But this time, both will be incorporated. Dr. Champion is looking for people who need to lose about 50 pounds and who also suffer from acid reflux. So if you're interested, call 770-425-5525. Now, the study's free, but you have to be willing to make a two-year commitment. And better, a lifetime commitment, I guess. It is that. total lifetime commitment. Yeah. Now, you mentioned that the weight loss varies. What's the biggest weight loss we're talking about? In this particular study, it was about 40 pounds. Uh, it varied as little as 10 pounds to uh, as much as 40. But Dr. Champion says the most important part of the study is that 
everyone in the study did not gain weight. In mm. other words, everybody stopped gaining weight. Right. And you know, the average person who's overweight gains about 10 to 12 pounds every year. So this looks like it's probably going to add something to, to this whole area. Sounds good. Doctor, thanks. Mm -hmm.